What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I want to talk a little bit about Social Security. We're going to take a look at the average Social Security benefit, and can you live on that alone? So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification, clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC Show Live. Okay, so I'm basing the intro to this video on an article that I was reading on Motley Fool, and this is the title. It says, this was the average Social Security benefit at the start of 2024. Could you live on it alone? So that's what we're going to focus on. So let's, I want to dive into this a little bit more and talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that you need to think about when it comes to retirement and Social Security benefits. And I think people, before they retire, they have this dream that Social Security will be able to solve most of their problems when it comes to retirement. They're not going to have to bring in more income. And so we're going to talk a little bit about the reason why Social Security can supplement about 40%, no more than 40%, but you need to have another retirement plan because if you don't, you are really going to struggle. So, And so just looking at the general rule here, you should anticipate. So just looking at your overall salary, let's say you're making 100000 a year and you're thinking about retiring. Well, how much money of that 100000 do you need every year in order to retire comfortably? They're saying between 70 and 80% of your previous income, okay? That's what they're stating. So that would mean 70 to 80,000 is what you're going to need to be able to retire comfortably because you're gonna have to take out a few things as far as a commuting to work every day, you're paying for that, and then you'll have other related expenses just due to work, okay? So if you take those away, you're gonna need about 70 to 80%, so 70 to $80,000, okay? Now, it says here, Social Security will only replace about 40% of uh, their former income. So basically, they're saying here, if you were in that situation where Social Security, let's say it supplements 40%, you're still going to need to have more in retirement in order to retire comfortably. Okay. So now that we have that out of the way, let's look at some of the, the actual numbers here. So when it comes to 2024, the average Social Security recipient is receiving about $1,907. Now, every year, that will increase, okay? It will increase because of the cost of living adjustment. If there's no cost of living adjustment, then obviously it's not going to increase. But if there's a cost of living adjustment, like we saw in 2024, 3.2%, that's the reason why it's going up a little bit. And it will continue to rise as long as the cost of living adjustment rises. Okay, so. When we're looking at 401k plans and things like that, you need to have those set up, okay? Because as we stated here, 70 to 80%, you're going to need that amount of money in order to retire. So you're going to have to have 401k set up, an IRA set up, a pension plan set up, or, or something. You're going to have to have more money coming in because obviously $1,900 is not going to be enough to retire on and live comfortably. Just think about it. Like, I, I mean, I was 10 years ago, I, I, I live in a house now, I own a house, but 10 years ago, I was in an apartment, I was paying $1,550 for a one bedroom, one bath apartment, $1,500. So if I'm receiving social security benefits of $1,900, I, I couldn't manage. I can't even pay all my, my bills. I couldn't pay my electric and all, I couldn't pay all of that. So it's not possible for most people. Now, I do live in a, in a large city. I live in California. It's very expensive out in California and any city in California. So that plays a role. But most people, I would say on average, I don't know what the average uh, rent is, but I would say on average, it's, it's at least over $1,000. And so you're going to need more than $1,900 in order to retire on. Okay, so... Uh, moving forward, now I want to take a look at this, and this was from the Social Security Actuary. Uh, they put together a slide, and I'm just taking some of the, the clips from the slide. And there's this thing called the three-legged stool, okay? And when you're looking at the three-legged stool, what you need to understand about this is that you're going to have three legs that you need in order to hold this stool up. So your retirement plan right here, you're going to need three things to hold this retirement plan up. Now, the problem 
with these three things is 30 years ago, this three-legged stool made sense, but now it doesn't make sense. And the main reason why it doesn't make sense is because this right here, employer pensions. Employer pensions, there are not a lot of employers now that are offering pensions. And so that's going away. Now we have the 401ks coming in, the IRAs coming in, we have different retirement plans. So we no longer have that defined benefit. Now it's a defined contribution. So it's different, okay? And so this leg is, is gone, primarily. I mean, it's not completely gone. There's still some people that are receiving pensions. I was able to receive a pension. If you work for government, local government, state, federal government, you can receive a pension. But when it comes to most other jobs, you're not going to receive a pension. So you're gonna to have to rely heavily on a 401k or an IRA. Now, the difference between a pension and a 401k is a pension is for the rest of your life. So you don't have to worry about it running out. Whereas a 401k, you're contributing money into a 401k, but it can run out. And so you can get to a point where you outlive your 401k. You're not going to outlive a pension. So that's the benefit of a pension. But they're, they're gone by the wayside now. You don't see too many people receiving pensions anymore. And so now that means you have to rely heavily on your personal savings. And I'm going to take a look at the numbers when it comes to personal savings and how much people are really saving for their retirement. But um, when, you're, when you're looking at this three-legged stool, one leg is already gone. So what does that mean? That means the stool is going to be, it, it's not going to be sturdy. Now, Social Security is a part of the, the three-legged stool as well. And in most situations, if you're paying into the payroll contribution, you'll be able to receive Social Security. And that could start at 62 if you want to take early retirement, or you can rate to your full retirement age of 66 or 67, uh, depending on when you were born. All right. So... Now that we're looking at this three-legged stool, we know that one of the legs is, for most people, it doesn't apply. So we have two legs left. Let's look at some of the other uh, things that were on this slide here that I think are, are really important for us to focus on. So when we're looking at this chart here, and I think this is a, a good indication of where the defined benefit, so the de defined benefit here, these are pensions, okay? And then you have DC, which is defined contribution. That is the 401ks and the what you're investing in. So when you're working and you have the retirement plan set up. Now understand this as well. Some companies aren't offering any type of retirement plan at all. It's all on you. So you're going to have to figure that out. You're going to have to invest your money wisely so you'll be able to retire. And so uh, that that's another burden that that you know people don't really think about. Okay, well, I don't have a retirement plan. I might be making decent money, but I don't have a retirement plan through my work. So it's not automatically deducted out of my paycheck. So now I'm going to have to set aside money so I can retire and be able to, to live comfortably. All right. So looking at the blue line here, this is, these are the pensions. Okay. And you see what they've done over the years. If we zoom in here, uh, they go all the way. Let's see. It's kind of hard to read this, but 1981, 82, 83. And so you see what's happened. Almost 40%. Actually, I think it hit that 40% mark back in 1980. So that those were the pensions that we were looking at back then. But look at what's happened with pensions. It's gone all the way down here. Okay, it's it's about what 11, I would say 11 or 12% now. And that's in that was in 2014. So that's not even we're not even talking about recent numbers. We're talking about 2014, and it's gone down even lower. So it's probably under 10% now. And so that's what we've seen when, it, when it's come to the pensions. Now look at the defined contributions. Look at the 401ks and the other retirement investments. Look at what's happening here. It's going up and it continues to go up, right? So now it's, it's approaching 50%. So now we're doing away with pensions and we're moving towards the 401ks. Now we don't know how effective 401ks will be when it comes to retirement because we're still, we're still getting to a point where now we have people retiring with their 401ks, but it's, obviously it's taken a while. So we've seen this rise in 401ks, and that started back in, what, 19, what is it, 1979, I think this chart starts. And so now these people are starting to retire, and they're starting to uh, have to start taking from their 401ks in order for, to, to supplement their retirement. Okay, and then these other lines here, uh, basically, this is if you have both here, 
Uh, so it says what, either, and then down here, the green lines are if you have both. So what I'm thinking is you can have a 401k and a pension plan set up, uh, which in, in my situation, I have a 401k, or not 401, I have a 457 a B plan set up, and I also have a pension. And so that's what they're showing here in this, this uh, illustration. Now I wanna move forward, and I wanna take a look at some of the information that I pulled off Google when it comes to retirement, how much money people have set aside for retirement and at what ages, okay? This is another thing that's important to focus on. So it says residents 35 and under have an average of $30,170 in retirement savings. Those 35 to 44 have an average of 131,950. Those 45 to 54 have an average of 254,720. And those 55 to 64 have an average of 408,420. And then those 65 to 74 have an average of 426,070. And those over 70 have an average of 357,920. So we have the numbers. So we're looking at these numbers. This is good. Now, what I want to focus on is the, the fact that let's say you're 62 and you're thinking about retiring. So we looked at the numbers. What did it say? At 62, if we're looking at that, and we're talking about early retirement, okay? So if we're looking at 62, 55 to 64, on average, you have about 400, we'll just say 400,000, right? So that's what, what I looked at here. So in order to live 30 years, and is it possible to live 30 years? Yes, it is possible to live 30 years. Once you reach 62, is it possible for you to live another 30 years up to 92? That's very possible, right? So when we're looking at these, these numbers, this is what it's saying. If you're retiring with 400,000, let's say you have 400,000 in savings. Now, this is the average is 408,000. Some people will have more, some people will have less. Let's say you have 400,000. If you withdraw 4%, Okay, you'll be able to receive $16,000 annually. And if you're receiving Social Security benefits, and remember we said the average Social Security benefits, $1,900, let's just say if you're receiving $2,000, you're receiving $2,000 in Social Security benefits, and then you're receiving $16,000 from your retirement plan, that would be a total of $40,000. Okay, now remember, when I gave the example, let's say you're working and you're making $100,000 a year. So 100,000 a year if you're going to if you want to live comfortably, you're going to need at least 70 to 80% of that. So you're going to need 70 to 80,000. And so looking at the calculations that we have here, if you have a retirement plan of $400,000, you're going to be looking at if you want your money to last 30 years, you're going to be looking at about 16,000 that you can draw from there and then the 2,000 that's coming from social security, that's going to put you at 40,000. You're going to be well below well below that 70,000 or 80,000 that you need. And if it's 80,000, you have half that amount. So you need double that amount. So what does that mean? That means you need to have your retirement plan. It can't be 400,000. It's going to need to be 800,000. Or you're going to have to draw, pull out more from that 400,000 every year. So let's just say, okay, you're thinking 30 years, that's a long time. Maybe I'm not going to be able to live the 30 years. So then you're saying, okay, I'm going to draw, let's draw double. So instead of 4%, you're going to draw 8%, and then we can do all the numbers there. And so then you'll have an additional 16,000. So you do those calculations, and now instead of 40,000 that you'll be receiving it with Social Security benefits and your retirement, now you'll receive 56,000. That's a little closer, but it's still not there. So that's, that's why when we're looking at the averages when it comes to Social Security benefits and all of the, the different things that, that you need to calculate when you're looking at retirement, Social Security is not definitely not going to be enough, okay? It's, it's not designed to be enough for your retirement. It's only designed to supplement about 40%. But even if you're receiving Social Security benefits and it does supplement 40%, you're still going to need a lot more money in order to retire comfortably. And so you're going to need that retirement plan set up. And so uh, the, the, the sad news right now is people are starting to realize this. 
And in a lot of situations, you don't realize it until you get to that point where you're really starting to think about retirement. Maybe you've reached 55, 56, and then you're starting to think, well, how am I going to be able to retire at 62 or 67? Or when can I retire? And how much money will I be receiving? You're going to start looking at those numbers, and then you'll realize, wow, okay, I have a long way to go. And some people decide that they don't have enough to retire. They don't have enough money, and they have to just continue working. And that's, that's the unfortunate part because now that stage of their life where they were thinking, okay, I'm going to be able to retire, go travel the world and go do this and go do that. They're not going to be able to do it because financially they're not going to be comfortable if they retire too soon and they don't have the money to supplement their retirement. So I want to know what you guys think about this and let me know your situation. What situation are you in? Are you receiving Social Security at 100%? Do you have any other retirement plans set up? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.